greatest car design concept this is actually my whatsapp contact you can reach me on uh, this number uh, you can as well call me these are the list of softwares I've covered in my YouTube channel and all these softwares are actually available on our telegram platform where we teach people how to come about their designs from scratch until you attend mastery for one month you can register with us for a token of 3000 naira. take advantage of this lockdown and begin to do something positive okay you can like our page on Facebook just go there and like this page today I'm going to be showing you how you can come up with your uh, cantilever retaining wall on Prota structure okay if you already like what you're seeing why not give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually free <coughs> you see a red button down below click on that red button and you have subscribed already click on the bell icon so as to get a notification whenever I post videos I post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily so as to encourage as many that are trying to come up with designs okay mind you like I said earlier on all the softwares are available on our platform okay all our videos are available materials are available we'll teach you online show you how guide you through the process until you attain mastery for one month register with us okay uh, right now uh, let's dive let's dive into our protest structure proper okay um, okay now I'm going to click on new okay I'm going to name this retaining wall retaining wall okay sorry there is no way you can space this you can only use underscore okay and then I'll click on ok uh, I'm going to choose BS 8110 you can use any of this template okay uh, these are codes of practice I'm going to be using BS 8110 okay. okay all right this is actually my prota detail uh, it's part of your prota structure suit it's part of it here you can do so many other designs in this particular package okay um, right now um, what we are going to do is uh, the uh, I can come to my design library okay you can see cantilever retaining wall I'll just click on that okay sorry about that I'm sorry uh, I have to start by creating a new drawing okay and then I'll click on that okay I will now come to my design library I'll go to my cantilever retaining wall okay you allow that to load it's actually loading okay um, now as you can see uh, you know your cantilever uh, retaining walls are usually of reinforced concrete and they <coughs> work on the principle of uh, leverage it has much thinner stem and it utilizes the weight of the backfill soil to provide most of its resistance to sliding and overturning okay um, now <coughs> okay um as you can see here we can specify all that we want to specify here you can see um everything here it's actually um much more interactive you can see a this is uh, e this is b1 b2 b3 so you can specify all of these uh, dimensions if you want to um the the wall height okay I'm actually going to make this wall height uh, six meters okay that's making six thousand now if you must know your reinforced concrete um, 
uh, cantilever wall have an economical height that ranges from 1.2 to um, sometimes even 7 uh, meters okay uh, walls they're in excess of uh, that height mostly 1.2 to 6 meters when it exceeds that uh, height um, in excess of the, that height is um, preferable you actually use uh, pre, pre uh, stressing uh, technique okay um, the wall uh, length uh, what's this telling me okay okay and then the wall length here is actually uh, the um, where this uh, retaining wall is going to span up to okay so um, let's say it will span um, for example let's say it's 10 meters okay um, and then this 10 I'm going to leave it at uh, 300 uh, but when I try to change this you discover it will change at this point too uh, your stand here is actually your A okay so okay so you can see the eccentricity from uh, your left okay this eccentricity I, I can actually um, uh, let's see let's see Okay, you can see I've actually taken that off um, uh, here I can just make this um, okay let's say this A is um, let's say 400 don't worry it's going to guide you and uh, if your design is not actually safe enough it will tell you okay so our B1 um, I'm going to make it uh, 1000 okay that's here I'm going to make I just made it 1000 okay and our B3 I'm going to make that 3100 for example okay um, okay here uh, you can see my T1, my T, my T2, um, okay, let me make this um, 500, 500, Let's go to our soil parameters. Okay, uh, you can see your internal friction, your wall friction angle. Okay, um, okay, uh, okay, your soil bearing capacity okay now uh, you must actually take note of uh, this uh, that um, to retain the soil at a slope uh, that is greater than it will naturally assume usually at a vertical or near vertical um, position that's actually um, the main function of your retaining um, wall okay so as to retain that soil from uh, your vertical okay now um, the soil slope okay I'm going to Okay, you can see the soil slope angle 
your QT, your surcharge. Okay, here I'm actually going to make this, um, for example, five. Okay. Um, your base uh, friction uh, coefficient. Okay, let me leave it at um, zero point five five zero point five. Okay. Uh, what else? Okay. Um. Okay. now you can actually make changes to a whole lot of things here um, that you actually want to make any changes to any of this okay um, if if our design fails okay it will actually tell us that you can see everything has actually passed so uh, this is actually your analysis it's just a you can see I, I'm going to I want to include all of this to my analysis so I just include them to so my total failure okay I'll go to my design okay So it's actually loading okay um, on my design you can see my casting height remember the height I specified was six uh, meters okay so I'm going to leave this casting height at that okay um, the concrete I can change um, my grade of concrete okay I can change it here I can change uh, this material. I can change the color. Okay, um, I'm going to leave this at this. Uh, the the rebar. Okay, uh, I can change uh, my size of uh, reinforcement. I want to actually make use of, or I want it to design with. Okay. So I'm going to uncheck these. Uh, at this point, you have to be very careful on the reinforcement that you are so actually ticking, because if you by mistake tick on Y13, Plutar Structure can design for you using Y13, and you know, getting that uh, in the market is actually somehow uh, will be difficult to get that in the market. Okay. Uh, and then my links I'm going to uh, make it y10 um, y12 I'm going to I want to check this okay or well, I can just leave y10 y10 it's okay okay um, okay um, let's look at our concrete quality look uh, okay here I can change my tie types I can change all of this okay but I'm going to leave it at this detailing scale okay um, you can see my drainage pipe uh -huh, my whip hole diameter is actually 100 millimeter I can I can reduce that if I don't want it to be up to that okay and then um, my design is actually safe so all I have to do right now is just to uh, print my join okay uh, let's come back to okay I can decide to use my 
stem uh, front uh, splicer but I, I'm going to leave it at this as the way it is right now um, so uh, let me show the loadings let me see uh, you can see these are my loadings I can go to show moment okay um, all of this I can gener let me generate a report for this so it's actually loading if you already like what you have seen why not give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually free okay <laughs> Uh, you see uh, a red button down below click on that red button and you have subscribed click on the bell icon so as to always get a notification whenever I post videos because I post videos like this on a weekly sometimes on a daily so as to encourage uh, as many that are trying to have a uh, deeper insight of uh, designs okay uh, you can see my report is actually uh, still loading it takes time okay now this is my report okay so this can be printed it can be converted exported as a PDF file okay it can print directly okay um, now let's prepare a drawing for these now if I just click anywhere in the window now allow it to load uh -huh. now you can see uh, let's see this is our whip hole you can see uh, both direction okay at uh, 100 and 1500 spacing okay uh, you can see our reinforcement has been provided um, we have 29Y16 okay at uh, 200 uh, spacing okay um, this can be printed here directly or you can send this drawing to your AutoCAD okay um, you can see your BBS your bar bending schedule it has provided that for us okay okay <clears throat> all right make sure you stay safe and make sure you stay blessed okay don't go nowhere uh, don't forget you can actually uh, export this drawing to your AutoCAD environment you can print from AutoCAD all you have to do is just come to your file go to export click on export to DWG or DXF okay AutoCAD supports both of this format okay um, make sure you stay blessed and uh, stay safe okay